fell in love with the sport trampolining before I even knew that it was actually a gym sport. I used to have a backyard trampoline. Um, mornings, afternoons, I used to go out and muck around on the trampoline and then it got to a stage where I guess parents sort of took me to a gymnastics club to be a little bit more safe and, and, and learn how to do the somersaults and everything that I wanted to do and, and it wasn't until 2003 that I, I started doing trampolining. Uh, I didn't know it was an Olympic sport at the time and um, a few years into the sport I made the national team and got approached by the national coach at the time, Nikolai, uh, to come down and do some trainings down in Gosford and, and it kind of took off from there. Going in, I've always been looking towards Rio 2016 and to get to London I went in there and I got over to the village and got my uniform which was exciting but it wasn't until the opening ceremony when I walked through the stadium, the crowd went roaring, everyone's in their Australian uniform but I really got a grasp of magnitude of, of what this Olympic event is. It's I guess the, the greatest sporting event in the world and um, that really kind of encapsulated the whole essence of the Olympic Games, the opening ceremony. It's been such a long process to qualify for the Olympic spot and then try and I guess get the spot for myself. Going to national has been the last selection trial in terms of the whole process. There was a bit of pressure on knowing that we needed to perform but it also was sort of a bit of a relief going and knowing okay after this we're going to know the answer and so going to the competition I just wanted to get, get in there do the best I could and uh, the preliminary rounds didn't go to plan uh, had a bit of a fall and, and I went into finals in second position which wasn't a bad thing I think going into finals second position was, was quite nice I was able to get up smash out a routine that I was pretty happy with and, and put the pressure on Jack who was going in first and um, at the end of it I, I clenched the goal and I was pretty happy to retain my title. You need to be really confident in yourself and, and what you're doing and, and know that if you get in and you do the hard work, you're not going to leave anything up to chance. You're going to, I guess, those dreams will, will come reality if you work hard. And, and if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world, really. You've represented your country, you've represented your state, or you've represented your club. And um, as long as you love doing what you've done, I, I don't think you can have really any regrets or it will be sad at, at what's happened, really.